Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create uh, default settings for your charts. And it's not only about the settings, it will include styling as well, like colors of the background and all the uh, candlesticks and so on. So uh, on the screen right now, you see the default, what I call the black and green, <laughs> the chart. Uh, I don't know about you, but it looks a bit ugly. Uh, you know, it's maybe different for everyone's taste, but um, I would like to style it a bit differently. So I have prepared the colors, so I will choose a white background and uh, the foreground will be dim gray. And for the grid, I will use lavender. And you can also obviously choose colors uh, from this palette uh, for any of these settings as you may already know uh, but it will be faster just to type the names so bar up will be lime green bar down will be orange red bull candle will be lime green uh, sorry light green and the bear candle will be tomato and we will set lime green, lime green, orange, red and stop levels will be tomato as well as you can see I have a preview there uh, so you can immediately see how the chart will look like um, so that's in the colors tab and I switch to the common tab and I'll make sure that the chart shift is enabled. Uh, this gives us this empty area right there. It's very useful if you want to add uh, some uh, text like labels for, for yourself, like maybe the name of the strategy you are trading on this particular uh, chart or, or, you know, or any other indicator that you might use and they draw these um, statistics or whatever you know that's the place for uh, very very useful uh, I'll also enable chart auto scroll which makes my chart uh, look uh, like show the most recent price uh, bar right there uh, and then I choose candlesticks I show open high low and close which is right there these prices and then I enable ask line which is the green uh, sort of red line flashing right there I can't, I can't see it right now it's you know but it's basically uh, representing the ask price this uh, here this uh, gray line is the bid price we'll get to that uh, I also enable show grid as well and when I click yes uh, okay the chart changes colors I can zoom in I can zoom out prepare my charts whatever I want um, and if I switch to the lower time frame I can see the ask ask price and the bid price so bid price is the gray and the ask price is red so bid price is you you know it's what MetaTrader uses to draw the candles so we oh, we can see in the history what the bid price was like before but we cannot see what the ask price was like before because we can see only the ask price at the same mo you know at this very moment kind of so uh, i love to see uh, i love to see both prices because you know we sell at bid we buy at ask price <clears throat> So, um, and the difference between them is obviously the spread, which you might probably already know. So, I can prepare my charts the way I like. And now, what I can do is to save this template as default. I already have one there, but I will just type default again and just overwrite it. Click yes. And now, whatever i open any new chart it will open with the exactly same settings and style like i've set 
and we can have as many chars as we want and they all will open at the same style so I hope you enjoy this little hack <laughs> for, for the meta trader and that you will prepare these styles and now I would like to show you how you can load the templates um, from like from external files as you can see MetaTrader has a few default templates but they are not so very um, good looking but what I can I can show you is that if I go to load template and if we go to this folder where I have my m 2 chart template pack which by the way can be downloaded on my website for free and you can see there are like more than 50 chart templates you can use and I can choose any of them uh, let's say I'll choose the Pepsi party I click open and here we go I go again select load template I choose another one Ocean Majesty here we go now when I have this style loaded I can save the template again as the default and now whenever I open new charts that's the style I will have as you can see wanna load one more Let's see winter joy uh, so whatever you choose a template and uh, you can save it as a default again so when you save it as default from from that moment all the new charts you open will have this uh, I didn't save it see uh, this this black one um, I'll save it and now open the chart here we go another chart another chart <laughs> so it's it, it, it's always has this new style now another trick is uh, to copy the template files so you can have them right there so it will be faster to choose the template you want so for that we need to go to um, open data folder and then we go inside the templates and those are a few templates that are already um, saved into the MetaTrader but now if I open my M24 chart template folder I have all the chart templates file in there so I'll just uh, I'll just need to select them all so I'll use Control A and then I copy and then paste these files that's it now we go into the templates list and I have all the templates right here else I can click the right button on the chart and go to templates menu and choose any template from the list as you can see there are more than 50 of them So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, share it with your friends if you think they, they'll need to learn how to manage the, <laughs> the stars of their charts and uh, I hope this will help you trade. Um, for me it really helps when I, when I analyze the charts it's really more, more easier to look at this than on the default black and white. Uh, or the black and green which MetaTrader gives. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in other tutorials.